Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome back to Preschool Chapel. I hope that you've had a fantastic week. We missed you while we were all at home in the snow and the ice, but it wasn't it fun? Oh my goodness, Miss Chris loved it. I loved looking out and seeing all that beautiful snow, but there was somebody at my house who didn't love the snow so much. She wanted to go to school. She wanted to drive her car. She was cold. She didn't like what we had to eat at our house. She didn't like to watch television anymore because she'd seen everything that was on Netflix. And you know, she wasn't very fun to be around at all. I just really, before long, I thought, you know what? You need to stop your complaining. And it reminded me of this story that's in the Bible it's in the book of Numbers, chapter 11. And Moses and his people that had followed him out of Egypt were wandering around. Now, Moses had done a really good thing for these people. They had been captured for a long, long time. And Moses had led them out of that captivity. But those people, they, didn't, they were pretty much complaining about it all the time. They wanted to know who is going to give us things to eat. When we were in Egypt, we ate all we wanted. And what are we going to do? We're going to waste away. And they they complained about water. They were so thirsty. And when we were in Egypt, we had plenty of water. And Moses said, why are you complaining so much? What is wrong with you? You know, no one really likes to listen to someone complaining all the time. I didn't like to listen to it at my house, and Moses didn't like to listen to it in his people either. You know, sometimes things do go wrong. Maybe we don't have enough to eat, or maybe we are tired or hungry or bored. But God's people were complaining in the Bible story so much. They were all just out in the desert, and there wasn't enough food for all of them. But God was about to do something really special for them. God was going to send manna every single day, and he was going to provide for them every one of their needs. But their, his people couldn't quit complaining long enough to see how blessed they were. You know, we were very thankful that last week we had a nice warm house and running water and electricity to run all the things we wanted to run. We didn't really have anything to complain about because there were people that had to sleep outside during that cold. So the next time you feel like you need to complain about something, I want you to remember the verse in the Bible that says, a cheerful heart is good medicine. And I want you to think about all the ways that God has blessed us and it'll make you want to complain a whole lot less. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we know that we complain sometimes and we are sorry about that. Lord, help us to remember to be happy for the good things that we have in our life and to praise you for them. Amen. Boys and girls, I hope you have a great week. Don't complain like Moses and his people. Be cheerful. Have a great week. Bye.